what is the remedy you need to seek when uh, the registration of your property is stopped by the government because government has the power to allow the registration or stop the registration and whenever there is, there is an accrued right of the government and what is an accrued right i will explain accrued right is a right for example uh, if a government officer is uh, caught in corruption and he has some properties in his name now the, when the trial is going on there is every chance for the those properties that are gathered or acquired by the government servant during the course of his service to be taken by the government to become the government property once he is convicted of corruption of the offense of corruption in such an event the right of the government is getting accrued now what is that government will do in such instances they will prohibit the registration because the prohibition of the registration will lessen the litigation the purpose of prohibition of registration once a property is already registered now you will be quite aggrieved because uh, you already purchased the property by paying consideration now suddenly government prohibits the property if it is a government property after independence it was never registered in your name it will never be registered in your name because it was registered once from a private person or from the government itself government again prohibiting the property will cause a grievance to you therefore what is the remedy in such an event the first thing you need to do whenever a property is prohibited is approach the sub register office and get a document from him pertaining to the orders he received from the government or the collector or his seniors or the district register about why a registration should be prohibited for this property in a particular survey number generally if a survey number con- consists of 100 acres and you you purchase a property in one corner of that 100 acres survey number then also the entire survey number is banned is prohibited then your property is, will also be prohibited for registration then you have to what is the remedy you have is you should immediately go and file a civil suit government has also a remedy in telangana government they have also a remedy where government uh, uh, itself uh, will had appointed a tribunal but it is better to um, file a civil suit and uh, declare uh, the right of your property and uh, seek a declaration for the right of your property that will be uh, the better option is my suggestion so nothing to get panicky because if you are in possession for uh, 12 years on a private property you have uh, without any uh, litigation you almost got the right and if, if it is a government property if you are in peaceful possession uninterrupted peaceful possession is the expression which you should always remember for 30 years then you have a right on that property so therefore if if your possession is intact if your possession is uninterrupted peaceful possession that means without any court cases without suffering any court cases without receiving any court cases court notices then if you are enjoying the possession then you are enjoying uninterrupted peaceful possession the meaning of the uninterrupted peaceful possession is that there should be not even a single case you can you may be in possession but if a case is there you are not peaceful you are not at peace therefore un therefore uninterrupted peaceful possession is not applied in such instances so therefore whenever the government prohibits the registration of a property the first thing you need to check is whether are you in possession the second thing to check is are you in possession for 12 years if it is a private property the third thing you need to check is if if you purchase from the government or if it is a government related property government also sells properties so in in that process if you if at all you purchase such kind of properties then is it for 30 years are you in possession for 30 years if you have to observe these three things then go to the sub register obtain a document obtain a gvo and the underlying fact is that if at all there is no government order as per 22a of the registration act if at all there is no government order to prohibit the registration sub register has no right to prohibit the registration that is what section 22a of the registration act says if it is a temple property if it is an endowment property if it is a land selling property or if it is a work pro- board property any property it could be any property the first thing you need to ask the sub register is a government order to prohibit the registration if at all he could not produce a government order to prohibit the registration there could be some direction from the collector but that is not sufficient a government order from the principal secretary of the government department revenue department is necessary to prohibit the registration the claim by the government can be sought only if a government order is there a detailed government order is there otherwise sub register 
you can take action on the sub register by filing a civil suit and you have a case if there is a government order you have to question the order otherwise questioning the sub register will be sufficient to redress your grievance thank you if there are any doubts pertaining to this you may kindly comment i'll try to redress your grievance thank you